with that. You mean with an antique shop? An antique shop. Yeah. And you remember where this antique shop is? It's either Navarre or Gulf Breeze. Navarre or Gulf Breeze, an antique shop. Yeah. Do you meet with somebody there? Gary, no. Who? Gary and Stars, no. And Patrick. Okay. Anybody else there? And, uh, that's it. Do you see anybody else there at all? Maybe anybody that wasn't with y'all? Is there a woman there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's she look like? I really don't know. She had long blonde hair. Long blonde hair. Did you see her in a vehicle? She was in the in the van with them. That same van that y'all had at the scene that you were the safe? <laughs> no, the, the van, that, the third van, the third vehicle. Okay, the one that had been left alone, the minivan. Yeah. Was she driving it? I don't even know. They had to pull it up before we pulled up. Okay. And, uh, Do you, did you catch her name at all? No. No, I never. If you saw a picture of her, could you identify her? Pretty sure I could. Maybe. Pretty sure you could. We got a picture. Okay. Did she seem to know what was going on? I, she had to if she was there. She had to know what was going okay, on. Okay, so y'all get there and meet up. What What's going on? Is this the same day? Or is this at night? Yeah, this at night. Okay. What do you do when you meet up? To my room, like... When y'all get there to this antique shop in Gulf just, Breeze or Navarre, what do y'all do? We got the stuff there. All what, the floor. weapons? Yeah. Where you put the weapons? No, I think they put, no, the weapons was in the van. They put the weapons in the van, and they went there, they went back, I guess, to Pensacola or wherever, and we went back home. They dropped us off at home. Okay, so you just kind of met up to distribute the weapons again, and then y'all went back to your own places. Mm -hmm. Okay, and she drove away with Pat? Yeah. Okay, and y'all, and you, Gary, and Stalls, and, and Rakeem. Rakeem all left together. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Um, anything else you can think of, sir? Yes, sir. Uh, you didn't tell us anything about the, about the white girl coming in. No. Was, were you positively sure that she wasn't with you, with you guys, when you did the robbery? Yeah, she wasn't with us. I swear that she wasn't with us. <coughs> the van was vacant. Hmm? Uh, so the little mini van, nobody was in it. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you said, and everything you say, we've already verified. We see you when you, when you, you ever seen a little boy in the living room? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've seen all that. And everything you say, if you back against the wall, that's the truth. And we already seen all that. And, and that's why. We picked you versus him because uh, we know that what your role was in this. When you say you was by the front door, mm -hmm. by the stairs, mm -hmm. and you seen, you said you didn't actually see Patrick shoot the man. Yeah, I didn't see him shoot him. Okay, but he's laying on uh, on the floor, and Patrick has a gun. Yeah, he has a nine millimeter. Okay, all right, but but then you say you seen him shoot the lady. I didn't see him. I just seen him with the gun like this, and I heard it go off. I didn't see it because she was in the closet. How <coughs> close was he to the closet? He, he was like right there, like how the closet door open. He was like, I get as I remember, I think the closet door opened like that. He was standing like right there by the door, like right there by the closet and door. What, and what are you saying? Probably uh, three or four feet. Max? Yeah, here. probably not. Okay. Uh, how much money was you was you supposed to get out of this? Like, we was all hoping to get it like a hundred thousand each. Okay. And how much did you get? Nothing. Uh, you had mentioned that you had met at Frank's house a week, uh, about a week prior to this? Mm -hmm. Was that the only time you met and talked about it? Yeah, with them. With, uh, with, you said with them, who else did you meet with? I said I only met with the father and the son. 
and did you practice? Okay, man. Like, yeah, the day the day that we was going to do it, we was like practicing on what we was going to do, like how to kick in the door and how to like toss somebody down. Did yeah. you practice at a place? I'm sorry. Like at uh, Frank's house. Okay, so they're at Pappy's yeah, place. Yeah. Uh, inside, outside the yard. We was inside the house in the front wall. Was there anybody, was there a female there inside the trailer when you were there? Oh, no, it was crazy because somebody had knocked on the door. And then <clears throat> the last white man that I just pointed out to you, he had went to the back to knock on the door about something. I guess knock on the room door or something. So I'm guessing somebody was there, but I'm not sure because I didn't see or hear anybody back there. Okay. You had mentioned something and uh, the day of the robbery. Mm -hmm. You guys went to Walmart. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, somebody bought some boots. Who were they for? You know? Patrick bought them for himself. Patrick bought them for himself? Yeah, because yeah, when we got to the house, because when we got to Walmart, me and Rakeem always stayed in the car. Every time that we went to Walmart, me and Rakeem stayed in the car. And they hopped in the car with Pat. When we got to the father's house, Pat had some new boots, so I guess he purchased some boots in Walmart. Okay. Uh, and the clothes that you were wearing, <coughs> you said that Pat had furnished them as well? Mm -hmm. uh, Rashid was, was wearing something on his shirt, a design, a picture. You I think it was just a plain T-shirt. Well, he, uh, there was one of you there that had a, a uh, design on the back of your shirt that might have been opposing dragons or opposing snakes or a canine or whatever on it. Do you remember seeing anything like that? On, on yeah, was that one with Walmart? Yeah, no, uh, inside the house. Oh yeah, I think. I know I had on a uh, K9 shirt. I think. You Rakeem had on a K9 had, shirt? I think Rakeem had on one. I don't really uh, remember what kind of shirt everybody had on, but I know. All right, let's talk about you then. Mm -hmm. What did you have on? I had on a black shirt and black boots. And uh, black did it have K9 written on it? I think, yeah, K9 written on the front. Okay. Uh, what about on the back? I don't even remember. remember. And you got that shirt from who? Huh? And, and you got that shirt from who? Patrick. So Patrick knew what size you wore and he furnished no, it? No, he just gave me the shirt. He just passed it out? Yeah, he okay. right here. He uh, got me the shirt. Uh, and when did you change? We all changed up. Fine space. And what did you do with the clothes? With what clothes? That you changed out of. Oh, you're talking about like after we got done doing it? Yes, sir. Oh, we changed in the car. Okay. We changed in the car. Everybody changed in the Where car. Where are the clothes now? They burnt them. Who burnt them? Pat and them burnt theirs. I know we had burnt ours. Where did you burn yours? In a little tool thing behind my house. Okay. How do you know Pat and them burned theirs? Because they said they burnt stuff. That was the plan? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, this Describe Patrick for me. He's about a little shorter than me. Hair like that, kind of but low, low cut fade. Okay, and once again, how tall are you? About five, five, seven, five, eight, something like that. Okay. <coughs> uh, did he ever mention anything, or or was there anything mentioned about what he did for a living?